Hello everyone and welcome back to the United Star. Today we're here to do another episode of uh, Silly Season, like we like to call it, and some of the good signings that United made in the transfer market since the post-Fergie era. It's it's few and far between, but there are a, there are some of them. So Vishesh, why don't you take it away? Who are your top five best signings since the Fergie era? Okay, so before I start speaking, Prashant, I just want to clear it out with the audience. I am not including Bruno in this. He would be on top. But Bruno doesn't make the cut because it's just been six months and we're looking at a span of almost seven to eight years. So I want to look at the players that have been at the club for either a season or longer rather than just a small uh, small stretch and have performed really well. So uh, at number five for me is Aaron Van Bissaka. He came in uh, last season and he solidified the defense. You know, we talk about... Uh, Maguire being a key link in the centre-back with Lindelof, but Van Bissaka has uh, held that right-back position. I, I don't want to abuse, but yeah, he's held that right-back position by the balls, right? And he's been making those slight tackles. I think he has the most tackles this uh, season by any defender. He's improving his game up front as well. He's made a contribution of four assists, which is a start, right? Because before lockdown, we didn't see him uh, really putting in the effort in the final third. It's it's changed since lockdown. So I see Van Bissaka really pushing and improving his game when it comes to an attacking point as well. Uh, as number four, this could be a controversial pick, but I see Ander Herrera. A lot of people do not like Ander Herrera with the way he left. A lot of people thought that he left for PSG for money. But there, there's a lot that needs to be taken into account. He's won the player of the season at United. He's shown the passion. He was a fan favorite. He came for a mere 29 million from Atletico Bilbao. So, Ander Herrera... And, and let's not forget, he made that he made our midfield click, right? He played with the likes of Schneiderlin, Schweinsteiger, Pogba, uh, Matic. I remember when Ole came in, our three that really got us into that run of uh, winning games was Herrera, Pogba, Matic. Because Herrera could uh, provide that Bruno role that, uh, you know, uh, would help Pogba just settle and play a freer role uh, in the midfield. So, while we're talking about the midfield, let me mention who's at number three for me. It's uh, Matic. I think there was a lot of, uh, lot of rumours about Matic leaving the club, especially when uh, the season started. But what, what I realized is Jose Mourinho played, trusted him so much and played him so much that he, he got burnt out, right? Matic is anyways old and his legs are, uh, are getting slower day by day. But we've seen how post-lockdown he's been pivotal when it comes to our uh, defense and uh, the man in front. We've seen him fall back, create a three with Lindelof and Maguire. We saw his distribution for the Bournemouth, not Bournemouth, the Brighton goal where he releases the ball for uh, Mason Greenwood to run down. And for 40 million, getting him from our rivals, Chelsea, that's great. He's just penned down another three-year contract. And it, it seems like he, he has the correct mindset and the correct capability to train our youngsters as well. So Matic is someone that could, uh, you know, maybe even up the ranks. It is going to be hard, but he could. In number two is the god. Zlatan Ibrahimovic came in for a free. We couldn't have asked for more. The ending was slightly sad, to be honest, because of his injury. But the way he conquered United, the way he made fans feel, the first season in itself, we saw that partnership between Pogba and Zlatan. The, the goals that he kept scoring. I, I think he's got 28 goals, if I'm not mistaken. 28 in goals in 46 games, one and two. Yeah, yeah, exactly. He, I still remember the game against Manchester City where he came out heading against Emerson, uh, Edison. sorry, And I think the, 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 man, the man did what he came for. He won us trophies. He won us the Europa League as well, even though he was injured. He, he produced some great moments at United. But there's a man who's finally grabbed that striker spot, who comes in as number one. And his name is Anthony Martial. He comes from France. People thought it was money down the drain. But hell, you guys, the guy has scored 23 goals. Still, we, we were shooting this before the Europa League ends. So 23 goals in this season, his best season ever, where he's played consistently without 
uh, you know, with, with having a two-month injury and playing in the uh, playing in the upfront position. So it just goes to show that Martial needed that trust from a manager. He's received it, and he's paying us back fifty-eight million for a kid who's possibly going to be one of the greatest signings for the first time. I think Manchester United did good by standing up against Jose Mourinho and telling him we aren't going to sell the likes of Martial and Rashford because these kids could have gone on. I mean, these kids would have gone on to become big names and would have again become, you know, a Kevin De Bruyne kind of situation. So I think Martial has to go down as our best signing and we have to thank the likes of Ryan Giggs and Louis Van Hal for introducing such players to our squad. Absolutely. I think, Vishesh, you've uh, hit the nail on the head by mentioning all the players you have. In fact, uh, you also have to think that Herrera, Matic and uh, Ibrahimovic played an important role in winning us the League Cup and the Europa League that season. So, they definitely belong there. And Anthony Martial, like you said, man, he has got the touch of a magician. He's got the close control. He's one of the best technically gifted players in the Premier League right now. And if he continues like this consistently, he'll become one of the best signings of Man- Manchester United of all time. And I'm not exaggerating here. He is that good. So, thank you, Vishesh, for uh, telling us what your top five signings are. Uh, would, uh, let us know what you all think in the comments, guys. Do you all think Maro and Fellaini deserves a shout in the top five? Uh, like the video and subscribe to the channel and we'll see you with a lot of stuff more.